Hello and welcome back to the Saintly Scott. So, we have an awful lot of threat. We are very, very, very threatening. So we're probably not going to be actually attacking anyone this time. Unless, of course, we do one of these help our allies in a war. But this one, or help our vassals in a war. This one looks like it's internal. Do you have any other vassals at war? England's obviously at war for the same one. Wales in the same war. Scotland not in a war. Ireland not in a war. Uh, Galicia not in a war. And Gascoigne not in a war. Okay, so none of our vassals are at war. It's, it's like an external war, so we can't help out any of them. So what I propose that we do this time is that we just join a society. It's been a while and, you know, seems like the right time. So which one are we going to join? Um, I don't know. I don't know. Let's have a look here. Um, let's see whether we have anything in particular that would make me want to join anything in particular. I, I don't know. Why don't we join the Hermetic Society? Let's just choose one at random. All right. Greetings, Emperor Malmor. We are delighted to learn you've taken your first steps towards enlightenment. The secrets of Corpus may be obscure to you now, but in time, in time you may come to understand them as I have. Hold in thy mind all thou would know, and Hermes, the thrice blessed, will teach thee. Signed, Magnus Ithelthrif. Well, you know, yeah, definitely, sure, whatever. What can we do as a member of the Hermetic Society? We need an apprentice. Okay. Um, who's going to be our apprentice? Let's have a look here. Oh, definitely. My cousin, the Queen of France, is a good target. My daughter, Uno, definitely. Peter, my son, potentially. You know what? I'm going to choose just the top of the list. The Queen of France, my cousin, will become my apprentice. She has a lot of titles, to be fair. It's Queen of France. This is, this is like getting on to a Daenerys level. It's Queen Bethok of France, Brittany, Crusader France, designated Regent of Scotland, Duchess of Somerset, advisor and apprentice to the Emperor. You know, it, it, it's a title. It's getting there. Anyway, what can we do? We can write a theorem paper. Oh yeah, sure, let's do that. Uh, how do we write it? Yeah, I want to write a theorem paper. I face the daunting task of researching and writing an entire theorem paper. To be reviewed by my peers, to have it accepted by the order, it would be a great boon to me. But if the quality is found to be lacking, it might be a big blow to my prestige. Yeah, sure. I'm very worried about my prestige dropping. I, I do like how we have one negative in there. And it's really not that big. Anyway, um... Oh yeah, I'm going to make an extraordinary effort. No expense shall be spared. So we're going to be um chance of becoming ambitious, chance of becoming stressed. We would spend gold, but yeah, definitely. Um, and we do lose five stewardship while it's going on, which is a little bit unfortunate, but whatever, we'll do it. I'm not really worried about the realm falling apart. Uh, to the most excellent Emperor Malmure, blessings upon you and your house. Regrettably, I feel it would not be my best interest for Princess Eleanor to marry. Uh, Toivo, under these terms. Um, okay. How about if I just ask you again? Oh, he's going to say no now. He's, oh, he, became, he went higher in the line of succession between episodes. I see. Uh, Eleanor, we're going to have to find you someone else to marry. Uh, let's see what we got here. Uh, Age-wise, let's just go down here. I think I just chose purely on traits. Makes it annoying that uh, he was not allowed. Um, I don't know. We got any, like, genetic traits anywhere? Nope. No genetic traits that aren't bad, anyway. Um, I don't know. Well, these, see, these guys would be perfect, but the genetic traits are garbage. Yeah. Everyone's got just garbage genetic traits all over the place. How about you marry a wealth? I don't know. He seems fine. Right, let's carry on. Anything else? We, we are still threatening. Oh, we have a lot that we can press claims on, but we have a defensive pact. Yes, of course. You know, we'll get back into it. Um, peace be with you. We request that you honor your obligation answer this call to arms against Chief Beador of Smolent. Declining would cost us nothing if we accept we'll part, be part of the Kievan Rus Smolenskian vassalization war. Uh, so you're vassalizing someone else? Yes. I accept. So this is my tributary expanding into Smolensk, which is quite nice. And that's going to make our name much larger. Uh, how strong is Smolensk? 
3.5. Okay. Uh, we can probably raise up some troops here and get uh, on our way. Uh, some more boats, I guess. Maybe England's boats as well. Yeah, you head over here. Probably actually don't need to raise troops. We can just get our um, yeah, just get our retinue over here. Um, that's not our land. It just looks like it's our land. Okay. Um, probably just drop ourselves off here. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, seems good. Right over here. Uh, we have a balanced one, but that's fine. Stick you in the center. Stick you on the side. Stick uh, you on the other side, and then just send them over here. Yeah, it should be an easy war for us to win for our tributary. Uh, you've managed to convert most of Hull. Oh, fantastic. So that, I think that had a heresy of some kind. Right, we can now move him away to start re uh, to start uh, converting Mets. Yeah, that's okay. Back over this way. And back to helping our tributary. Recently, I've noticed my daughter is not feeling well. This is Eleanor. She's bedridden with the flu. Oh, she's just going to die. Oh, whatever. It's fine. Uh, went, went through all that effort finding her husband and she just dies. Anyway, the blood of Caradog App Sinfelin Catuvelununi uh, flows through my veins. Since the days he walked the earth, we have abandoned our old pagan faith, though I do see merits in the ways that it helped shape such a legend. No, sure, we'll have sympathy for pagan religions. Why not? Right. Just uh, assault that down. And then assault that down again. And again. And again. Oh, it looks like our tributary is actually winning this anyway, so we, we might as well just do the sieging for them, because the AI won't do it. There we are. Another few days. I actually took a long time to allow us to siege. Okay, what have we got? It is finished! I've produced a rather simplistic paper on the hieroglyphic translation. It explores the hidden meaning in these ancient texts, which might in turn provide new insight into theurgy. Now all that's left is to submit uh, it to my hermetic peers for review. Then say it's not good enough, or... Yeah, I'll send it to everyone. Yeah, sure, everyone can read it. I don't know. Whatever. Seems fine to me. Esteemed Neophyte Malmuir, having spent ample time considering your paper's worth, I've decided not to endorse your work before the order. In my view, the quality of the work was unfortunately not in keeping with the standards of our library. Hey, that, that's just insulting. By the way, 100% war score, moving back over here. Oh, yeah, our side won. Shocking. Oh, and then the next person says endorse. Oh, so we're going to have endorse, not endorse. Spam. That's fine. Yeah, our name's pretty large. It's also quite nicely on the border of Catholicism, which I quite like here. Yeah, that's, that's good. It's kind of symbolic, I guess. Yeah, that's two for us. Two against us. And uh, three for us. See what we got here. Get on the boats, head back over here. Fantastic. If my uh, tributary could just keep expanding like that, that'd be great. That didn't get me any extra threat, did it? Probably not, because it's my tributary expanding. Anyway. Success! Enough peers have endorsed my paper, so the order has accepted it into its library. As a result, my standing with the order has increased measurably. Ooh, fantastic. Um, also, I just had a thought. There isn't any way of, like... No. Okay. I, I wasn't sure, but I was wondering whether there was, like, an EU4 style feed your, um... Your vassal kind of thing, where you could feed your tributary state and therefore lose threat, but no. No, there is not. So, there we go. Uh, I suppose you could just release... Why was I going to disband them? Uh, I suppose you could just release small uh, nations around them and just hope they eat them, but that seems very... Um, that doesn't seem very secure. Let's put it that way. To Neophyte Malmure, my brother... As you know, we're always in need of more ingredients to perform our experiments. These experiments are essential to uncover the mysteries of the world. I propose a joint venture to combine our knowledge in an effort to identify and gather ingredients so that our search for truth will not be halted by such worldly things as material shortage. Says Queen Betha of France. Yeah, sure, whatever. I'll gather ingredients. What do I have to do? Click acquire ingredients? Or is there something more to it? Um... I don't think I have to do anything here. Oh, I can invite people to stargazing. Hmm. Okay. 
Anyway, uh, yeah, I think I just need to go get ingredients, so there we go. Uh, where are we going to gather them? Marketplace, definitely. Neophyte uh, Bethok has offered her help with gathering much-needed ingredients for further studies of the mysteries of the world, but first we need to decide what kind of ingredients we need. Oh, I'm doing the same event twice. Yeah, Marketplace. So that automatically triggers the event to fire. The stalls around us are brimming with all kinds of goods and all kinds of, with all different kinds of goods and people swarming around us. Queen Bethok and I look each other in the eyes, nodding. We know that we'll need to, to be thorough in our search and excellent in our haggling if we want to make some good deals here. Oh, same thing there. Right. Ooh, Scottish Irish does your war. Hmm. Nope, not what I'm looking for. Looking for some expansion from our uh, vassals. Uh, we'll get to that one in a second. Navigating uh, the different scenes and smells of the town square at, the, at this hour can be confusing. Still, I managed to find some good quality ingredients at a decent price, as did Queen Bethok. Fantastic. We get three ingredients and 100 esoteric knowledge. So, yeah, we got some ingredients, but I don't think I actually do anything. No, they just kind of sit there. Yeah, that's fine. Whatever. Uh, great holy war for Orissa. The omens are clear. Dalai Lama Trongska's uh, Aglen has declared a holy war on Samrat Shahuchi of the Rashuruk Empire and the followers of Rishab in the kingdom of Orissa. Right. They will strike them down. So, kingdom of Orissa. Yeah, so they declared for that bit of land right there. Okay. Cool. We don't need to worry about it. Oh, Byzantines are falling apart. Interesting. Slipping by the stalls, nearly every one of them has some, an interesting item. I merely poke Queen Bethought to make her aware of it, and she puts on smooth talking. After her haggling, people almost end up giving us the items for free. You got four more items. Or ingredients. We are rolling in ingredients now. Far too many ingredients. We have gold. We have tin. What do we do with these ingredients? Well, I think we do absolutely nothing, right? Uh, at least right now. Yeah, we have to be uh, further up here to actually brew anything. Okay, yeah. Anyway, that's fine. Uh, people are usurping titles, not awfully worried. I've been struck by a great loss. The, the death of Queen Bethok has left me without an apprentice and an assistant, as well as a companion. While I already contemplate taking on a new pupil, I shall surely mourn for Bethok. So, the new ruler of Crusader France, France, and Brittany is King Patrick. Okay. Um, and his heir is Prince Sweeney. Interesting. Anyway. Um, yeah, Patrick needs to get himself married again. That is a name and a half. I like it. But, um, yeah, let's get someone on our council. Probably Patrick, I'd imagine. Um, how good is our spy master? No, our spy master can now be Patrick. Fantastic. And that means that our advisor can be Leofric. Yeah, perfect. Right. Now I just need... Oh, a new apprentice. Uh, my new apprentice is going to be Uno. We'll just choose from the top of the list. My new designated regent is going to be... Peter, right? Yeah, Peter, my son. That makes sense. Uh, still doesn't have any children. Oh, well. Whatever. We can righteously imprison this guy because he's trying to fabricate a claim on the Duchy of Man. Not overly worried about that. That's fine. Right. Ooh. King Patrick of France has declared a French Burgundian de jure war over Tours. Ah, I can join in on that. Jihad for Syria. The great Sunni Caliph uh, Ramadan has decided to call a jihad against the Kafirs in the Sultanate of Syria. He urges all righteous Sunni Muslims to take up arms against the depraved Basilius Dermot of the Byzantine empires, uh, Empire for the glory of Islam. Okay, so... That is... Oh, the Caliph isn't the head of the... Uh, oh, isn't, isn't the head of the um, large uh, kingdom, I guess? Yeah. Okay. Oh, no, but he's also Caliph. Um, I thought Caliph was like the head of the religion. Am I wrong, or is that just a generic title? Multiple, ah, different, different religion. That's it. Different religion. That would do it. Wait. 
Okay. Sorry, sorry. Let me just read. He decided to call a jihad against the Kafirs and the Sultanate of Syria. He urges all Sunni Muslims to take up arms against the Prey Basilius Dermot. Why has it got this guy on there? Because it's wrong. Okay. That, that's, that's the real answer. Is it just has him there for no reason. Okay, that's where I'm getting confused. Right, so it's Basilius, 27,000 versus uh, Caliph, 4,000. Okay, that makes more sense. Anyway, um, I can't help but notice that you're trying to de declare war on, Ac on uh, Burgundy. Or what is it? For Tours, so for that province. Yeah, I'm in. Let's do this. So it's 16,000 versus... Well, do I even need to join in? 16,000 versus 7,000? Probably not. I'll join in if it looks like it's going badly. This seems like something we can just watch from afar. Yeah, they, they appear to be doing alright by themselves. Ooh, who's attacking these guys? Um, Aquitaine. Ah, that's not good. Anyway. Such a little wonderful bouquet. The complex blend of flavors spreads over my tongue. Uh, just as the warmth spreads in my belly. These monks certainly know how to make a fine wine. Um, No. No, I don't think we need to be drunk. It's alright. How are you doing in France? You winning? Oh yeah, yeah. You're, you're winning. You don't, you don't need, need me there at all. Yeah, that's fine. In fact, that should probably be like 100%. 83. Okay. Uh, need a new commander. New commander is gonna be... Uh, Duncan? Duncan or Peter? Peter, I guess, because that way he can be educated. Yeah, that works. And blessed has passed. Uh, Adolf of, uh, Hampshire lived a pious life. Okay, sure. Um, has a lot of traits. Anyway, blessed be his name. Uh, to neophytes, Malmure, my brother, I have a proposal which might be of interest to you. A letter to detailing the possible locations of some lost hermetic writings came into my possession not many moons ago. If you find, if you fund an expedition, we can search for these treasures together. Sure. Uh, let's do that. So, um, do I need to do something? or do, well, You know what, I'll probably just pop up on the screen in a second. Yeah. The letter mentioned three lost texts, a tome in local uh, antiquary, a scroll hidden in church in Lugo, a tablet in an ancient library ruins of Santios in Lotharangia. The further we venture, in distance as well into the past, the greater secrets we might uncover. Oh yeah, we're, we're heading off to uh, Santios. Yes, fantastic. Jihad for Syria. The great Shia Caliph Bahir has decided to call a jihad, a jihad against the Kafirs and the Sultanate of Syria. He urges all righteous Shia Muslims to take up arms against the depraved Basilius Dermot of the Byzantine Empire for the glory of Islam. Okay. Sure. Uh, I just realized something. The guy we looked at previously who declared this war... Um... That's the Shia Jihad. Yeah, the Sunni Jihad. Never mind. I... I was thinking maybe he was a vassal of this guy, but never mind. He's not. Better figure out what about this land each one holds at. Eh, eh, whatever. Doesn't matter. Oh, no, he holds some uh, baronies underneath. He's actually much smaller. Okay, that makes sense. Anyway, they're basically attacking the Byzantines while they're weakened, which makes sense, really. Uh, a murmur was heard through the room when I judged the felon to get uh, to death. It was a just sentence, if perhaps a bit harsh. Sure. Uh, okay, you would like... Uh, oh, this is Betrothed Kamari? Yeah, I already accept, I already made that one. Sure, that's fine. Right, carry on. So, threat level, dropping, good. We have a granddaughter, um, Peter's uh, daughter, named Flora. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, good. She is sickly, but apart from that, fine. Uh, I'm trying to figure out what army Peter's leading. Or why he's put on that silly helmet. I mean, it is because he's a commander, but usually it only has the helmet on if he's leading an army. Is he leading like a sub one here? No, I don't know. Whatever. Oh, we've expanded. Nice. That looks good. Our name's now stretching across there. It hasn't quite gone all the way down because I think this little bit of Aquitaine's going to stop me it, but that's good. Our threat went up though, no doubt. 
Oh yeah, no doubt. News from China. Um, rumors of the military might of the Quinn Empire is proving to be a forceful diplomatic tool in itself. After what seems like brief negotiations, Kagan Itzler of the Monsters peacefully agreed to become a tributary state of the Middle Kingdom. So that is... Osinevich. So be it. So that is now all part of the Western Protectorate, which is growing. Cool. Alright, back over here. And we'll chill out. No matter how many times I've tried to point out the virtues of Marshall Murray, my wife, Melisandre, won't listen. Or Melisandre won't listen. She cannot take no for an answer. Not when she, she has decided her best friend shall be Marshall. Wait, so you want Peter to be Marshall? My current Marshall is Murray. No. Um, when my wife's mayor had to be put down, I promised Melisande that I would find a new suitable ride for her. Now I'm in luck. Not only one, but three different mayors have been brought to York. Uh, which one costs the most? The black one is magnificent. Fantastic. Sure. You can have that one. Successful jihad. Okay. Allah has given um, Rishwana Talibid victory in the jihad for Syria against Basilius Dermot of the Byzantine Empire. Caliph uh, Ramadan has called for a month of celebration across the whole Muslim world. Okay. So that's this tiny bit here? Or I think maybe they got there or was it like... It's kind of difficult to tell because it keeps... Um, I think some localization here might be off. So it's not the Shia one. Okay. Yeah. So there's the Sunni one one. Yeah, actually, they may have expanded a little bit into the Byzantines. Yeah, I think they did, actually. It was for Syria, wasn't it? Or something like that. I don't know. Whatever. I'm, I'm going to give up trying to figure it out, because obviously it's not happening today. Okay, Emperor Malmur has given up the ghost at age 59. He died of depression. A zealous man... He fought for the glory of God against the heathens in one of the greatest holy wars of recent history. Emperor Peter. A formidable duelist. We expect him to excel in tournaments and personal combat alike. Long live Emperor Peter. So be it. Fantastic. His stats actually look a lot better. It's because he has the crown now, isn't it? And all that sort of stuff. As he doesn't have the crown yet, does he? Oh no, he does. The crown just doesn't get martial. But he does have the um, armor and the axe, which make him look a lot better. Okay, well that's cool. He's definitely gained a title. Uh, you know what? I'm going to leave all of setting up Peter's uh, rule till next time. So thank you for watching. See you then. Goodbye.